Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson before, and today we're going to be talking about the game that happened yesterday on Sunday between the Cleveland Browns and the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees, all those players in there, you know, with all those superstars, and yet they lost to the Cleveland Browns. I'm surprised what they pulled off. I mean, literally, the first quarters, they were leading 17-3 to against the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints were losing. They were losing. They were done. They looked like they were done. They looked like they were dead. And then all of a sudden with Jimmy Graham, you know, there, he was pretty much pulling a comeback. He was clutching it up, what he usually does, because he's a really clutch tight end. He pulls off those clutches, man. He does all those comebacks. He extends for those catches, man. So, I mean, it's very surprising what he pulled off, but, you know, at the same time, you would expect him to do that. It's because it, it is Jimmy Graham. He's one of the best tight ends out there. I mean, who can cover him? No one. Nobody from the inside can cover him. Not a safety, not even a linebacker. You got a double covering somehow because he's freakishly tall. So, that's why, he, you know, the, the New Orleans Saints made that kind of a comeback going on. And then at the end, pretty much the Browns sealed it off with a field goal, which saved their game. And it's amazing, you know, all the crowd was freakishly loud they were like loud they were like all cheering for that win because it was amazing they took down one of the top nfl teams of the league and god damn it it was just very surprising i mean i want to know your reactions too guys how do you guys feel about the cleveland browns defeating the new orleans saints i was shocked i was like what the fuck it's like the jacksonville jaguars defeating the patriots at some point i'm pretty sure that happened like 10 years ago or something but you know that's how it looks right now it's like the Cleveland Browns just won the semifinals, which is the AFC Championship. That's how it looked right now. So it's amazing what the Browns are doing. I mean, I don't know what the hell is going on with Mike Patin's head, the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. I don't know what the hell happened to him. But he is holding the most bipolar team of the NFL. I mean, look how it happened. The first week, they were losing by so much. The second half, God damn it, they were starting to own. Week two. They were owning the first half, the second half, they started to look like meh. Like, let's just fucking play football. That's it, with no motivation. The team just died the second half, and then all of a sudden they woke up in the fourth quarter and they decided to actually win the game. The first half, I mean, they were like all confidence and with miracles and shit. Johnny Manziel, when he, when he, he was subbed in, I was like, damn, I don't know what to expect from this guy. First start, he finally makes an appearance. And God damn it, he actually did good. With those pistols and full houses, I mean, he did kind of all right. Better than RG3, you know, pretty much RG3 scrubbing it up over there in the Redskins. Um, he looks better than RG3, Johnny Menzel. That has to be the truth. Sorry to the Redskins fans, but it's the truth. RG3 is no longer looking good. He was just a one-hit wonder, just like Vince Young. Actually, Vince Young went 7-9 this first year, so never mind. Uh, who was the first hit wonder? Uh, Penny Hillis. You know, he was pretty much a one-hit wonder with the Browns. But anyways, back to the topic. Johnny Menzel is looking better. I think he could be the future. I do agree with this other guy named El Presador, which is the guy that I'll be mentioning him. Like, every single time I talk about the Browns, I'll mention El Presador. I promise you guys I'll put the link this time to his channel because he always talks about the Browns. He loves the Browns. He's a big fan since 1979 i'm guessing the guy's old but he talks straight up like god damn you guys should see his old videos about the browns i mean he will literally go out there and rant Th those rants are real man they're not just for money but he's ranting his ass off and most of them are from the cleveland browns and you know he he's a big fan and i saw his videos and i'm like yeah you know the browns have this all this potential but yet they're not using it because of some kind of sees like head coaching and, and ownership like all this stuff is messing up the Browns and I don't know guys just follow El Presador off Twitter if you don't know who El Presador is type it over here on YouTube guys just search for him. El Presador like El President but like El Presador you know that's how he said his uh, name on of YouTube so type it in you should be able to see his channel he's pretty much fun to follow I love his videos his rants I mean I kind of look up to him when I do rants too I mean it's just it's just a, a good thing to you know follow i mean I, I, i'm i'm a big admirer of him so anyways um yeah the cleveland browns now have a one and one record and um all thanks to that field goal at the end was billy condove man i'm pretty sure billy condove was gonna miss that field goal. i had a feeling i'm like 
Holy shit, he's gonna repeat that freaking field goal from the <laughs> from the one he did with the Baltimore Ravens back in uh, 2012 when they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. And, um, you know, they made it, you know, fucking shit. Billy Condor actually clutched it up. So, I don't know. I just didn't expect the win from the Cleveland Browns, but I did expect some points because the way they were rolling on the week one, I mean, it was just incredible. So, they did carry their mojo. They did carry their motivation over to the next game. It's just that they didn't want to finish it, but then they decided to finish it. And that's where I'm guessing the train wreck is about to begin. I'm pretty sure now they look like kind of less confident or confident at the same time. I don't know. They're like 50-50 right now since they beat the New Orleans Saints. But at the same time, they can look at the film and say, we fucked up the second half. So it's going to be tough work for them, but I wish them the best. I think they're going to win week three, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns. I think they're actually going to beat the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens right now are on low motivation. They did beat the Steelers, but look at what happened, you know, with all this drama with Ray Rice, the woman beater, and the uh, NFL commissioner, and I'm looking at the videotape and blah, blah, you know. They're just in stuck in a bunch of drama. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a big distraction for them, like, for the whole year. It's not just, just the first few weeks. It's going to be for the whole year, and they're going to have no motivation to play. So they're just there playing football with their players. They're actually good, and, you know, they're actually going to pull something off, but it's not going to be a big game changer, so... Anyways, subscribe for more guys, for more Madden 15 and more NFL news.